So there was this girl, she, her name was Sue. This is back in high school, things like that. Oh, stop. Play my theme song first. It's your man C to the J to the C, straight from the 305 Miami Dade County. And if it's your first time joining my channel, you know what to do. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button so you can get the best story times on YouTube. Boy, what we doing? Oh, chido, chido, chido. Y'all already know, man. It's your man C to the J to the C, bringing you the best story times on YouTube. And today we got another one, and you gon' love it. But yeah, it's your man, and today's story time is go back to high school. This girl named Sue and all this stuff, and now she she basically married to my arch enemy from high school. Isn't that strange? Well, let's go back to high school, how it all began with her. So uh, back in high school, um, it was like 10th grade year, 10th, 11th grade year. Um, I was in my history class, and then I was like always a quiet kid, always to myself, always doing my work, paying attention, for staying focused. So you know, objective, get that high school diploma, get out the hood, do your thing, free all my niggas though. You feel me though? But um, but um, yeah, I was focused in school and everything. Just like had a, me a mental, uh, like thought of basically focused and uh, stay on the grind. And um, yeah, so I'm just doing all my work. And then soon she was just like. She was like, hey, hey, hey. Like, I did it the first time I met her. I was like, what? And then she was like, how big is your D? I ain't going to say it, but D-I-C-K. And she said, how big is your D? And I'm just like, what? And I'm just like, going back to uh, <laughs> page, she's a professor. And she said, hey. I'm like, what? She said, how big is your D? And I'm just like, what? Then one, my homeboy's uh, daughter, daughter, he was just like, his name not Dawn, her name not Sue, but I ain't gonna say their name. But uh, Dawn, he was just like, he was like, he was like, you hear what she said? And she said, she said, how, how, how big uh, 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 it's your D? I said, bro, you gay? Like, I don't know what you laughing, but like, what's wrong with you? Like, 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 bro, like, leave me alone. They, they, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on work, like, just like, leave me alone, things like that. So, um, he's like, I guess. And, and then basically it is like kind of borrowing me while paying to the professor. So I turn around and I'm like, I to her, who asks, who, who asks that type of question? Like, what's wrong with you? He said, I just want you to know. And I was just like, okay. And he said, my name is Sue. And he said, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, CJ. And things like that. He said, nice to meet you, CJ. And that's how we met. So it was just like, okay. And then ever since that day, I don't know. Like, I, I, I come in class looking like a, a, a beta sip, like a pathetic, like watching her, like mesmerized by her. I'm like, damn, this girl's so beautiful. And then she talked to me. Like you get me, usually, like I said, I was like the quiet to myself, laid back guy. Like I was like, you would say the per se shy type of person. So I basically never bought anybody, never say anything to somebody. It's like, like what we talk about, I like what August Alcia said before all of this, like basically like, what are we talking about? We don't have nothing to talk about. Like, if I don't know you, you don't know me, we going to force a conversation. we just going to talk just to talk. Like, what's the point of that? So, basically, like, I was just that person that just, like, I'm not going to say nothing to you or what up to you. If you say something to me, find you interested and probably think you're a cool person, I'll say something back and maybe a friendship is caused by that. But that was always to myself and just, like, yeah, the one she said, how big is your D? And then she introduced her, so I was just like, wow, this is kind of annoying. But you know, the annoying ones are always the ones that stick in your head. That's what y'all didn't know. And then basically it's just like, oh, she was cool. And so next time I'm just staring at her, staring at her, and she turns around and to see her. And I just turn away like, oh, yeah, hopefully she didn't see me. And I saw her like smirk. I, I think she did. I don't know. But, but, um, but yeah, it was just like, um, so I, I had all my friends in high school and things like that. And then I'm always like at, at, at a table with them. Then I saw uh, she sat down with the homies. I'm just like, y'all know her? They're like, yeah, she cool people. I'm just like, what the hell? So, bruh, I with these guys all this time and they know her. And I'm just meeting her 10th grade year, 11th grade year in history class. Without even knowing she ever existed. And all this time, you niggas like, yeah, I knew her. Like, wow, that's crazy. So then, um, 
So then I'm just sitting down, just like, okay. Uh, yeah, so, so, so uh, she sat down and then she's asking people, like, do they have a dollar for her? Do they have a dollar? Because she can go get snacks. Just, just a dollar. Everybody just saying, no, no, no. She can't tell you, she said, uh, uh, do you have a dollar? I'm a dumbass. I, I'm like, I have two dollars. And she, she said, he said, sure, yeah, I, I don't want like, get it. I just need a dollar. I said, no, it's just, it, I said, it's fine. Oh my goodness, I was so pathetic. Like, bro, this girl, I, I, she never did anything for me. She never, uh, um, ne she didn't do nothing for me. She didn't do nothing to deserve that two dollar. She just acted too dollar. And me being like the, the pathetic simp I, I was, it's just like, oh, like, I don't know you like that or anything like that, but you need a dollar. Here's two dollars. Like, what the, like, bro, I must have had money a waste because high school, I thought we need all the money we need. But I gave her $2 and she just thanked me for it. And then she was like, she said, thank you so much. And then she put her hand on my hand. Like, do you know how pathetic I was? Like, her putting her hand on my hands is just like, wow, she touched me. Like, a, a put, look, look, like, I feel like slapping my, 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 um, my 13, 14 year old self. Like, how pathetic can you be, bro? Like, listen to yourself. Like, me, like, this is me talking to my 15, 14 year old person. Like, are you serious right now? So then it was like, yeah, like, um, like basically gave her two dollars, all excited, things like that. Then after that, then it was just like, okay, she with the, she with the boys, and um, and my and my math class, there was this guy named um George. His name not George for real. Like I said, y'all never know no names. What we doing? We not got. We not here in channels telling people name. But George, George was in my class, and George was like a, George was from the islands, and then George had like a rust, like you know, uh, long dreads and stuff like that. And George was like, bro, I didn't even know who George is. Never met George. Never had class with, uh, with George. I was in class, and then there was other people I, I was that was in there that I like that had history of like picking on me and think, doing things like that. Yeah, your yeah, man got picked on. But where I'm from, pick getting picked on is a part of life. Like, <laughs> like a lot of people where they from, they just say like, oh, I got bullied when I was in school, or I got bullied when I was in school. Where I'm from, we don't see it like that. We felt like you gonna get picked on, like bro, like it's life. That, that that's what it is. So when people ask, did you get bullied in school? I'm like, no, because if getting picked on was everywhere. It was like, that was the norm. You're going to get picked on. And only the strong survive. Either you're going to like get picked on back and show you ain't the one to play with, or you're just going to show it like me, like it, it, it ain't phase you. So they can pick on you and do all that thing, and it ain't nothing going to phase you. you just cool like that, cold like that, cold-blooded. But they just don't know. You probably murdered them in their sleep. But yeah, like, like, nah, chill. But yeah, but basically, like, um, I never met George. Never knew who he was any day in my life. And then it's just like I'm in a class. One of the people down like talking about me. George started like real, real things like that. So I think he wanted to test me out. George throwing stuff at me. I'm ignoring him. Then he basically came up and asked me a question. Me hearing, just hearing y'all in the back of the class talking about me, that he just threw something at me, that he went to act like he didn't do it, so that he come to me and said, ask him a question, like, oh, we all good. And I'm just like, oh, I'm, I'm ignoring him. He said, hey, hey. And he said, he, he said, he said, the F you did. Oh, nigga, like, he's a stupid ass. Man. Like, he just, he getting mad now. You get mad after just picking on me and throwing something at me, thinking I, I was stupid, I didn't know it was you. Then you come up to me and try to like, make me help you, and I ignore you, now you mad. Like, that's the, the, the case. I don't understand what's going on in people's head. Like, you you get what you sow. And it's just like, you have to understand and respect when you disrespect someone, the disrespect coming back. You got to respect it. And that's the only way I see respect is. And things like that. So, um, yeah, he did that to me. And it's just like, to that day, and he was talking about me, like, oh, God, teasing me, all that stuff. And I never wanted to beat somebody ass so bad than I did that time when he was doing like, it's just like the school I was in in high school. Oh my goodness. If I was in <laughs> like the middle school I went to bro, like the people I do and stuff like that. It's just like, I could, I could do stuff. Yeah, I could, I could get to somebody start a fight. And then I know ain't nothing gonna happen. Like a low key fight. Where I was at in high school, it was more like a magnet. So it was just like too whitish. Like, <laughs> No, I'm not being very. What I mean by it, it's like it was too. 
it was too security. It was too security and like discipline to basically act up. So if you act up a fool, you out of here. So it, just, it was that type of school. So I knew it's just certain stuff you wanted to do, but you couldn't do it. But it's just like, I wanted to beat the living hell out of George. Like, I remember, I do not know this guy, and he got me to that point. So, yeah, George is that type of person. And then it was just like, okay, I, I had enough of his, his shit, things like that. And then um, after class, one time I was shaking, bell rung. I, I see George right there, hallway going crazy. I'm like, if I punch this nigga right now, punch him dead in his mouth, something could start this hallway and who knows, everybody got found out, there's too much people. But I, I was just shaking, I wanted to do it. I even got so close to him, guys, like, I was about to do it with, I swear on my, on everything, I was ready to hit this, and I was like, but I ain't do it. I ain't do it, just like, I just felt like I said, damn, my record's clean. I said, from here, ruin it, 10th, 11th grade high school, after they keep it so clean, elementary school, middle school, even after all that I did, but never got caught in so I said, like, damn, I can't risk it. So then I just like, damn, I, 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 I almost did control myself, but the rage I was at is to a point where I didn't care and I still didn't do it. So God was good, watch over me, and I ain't doing that mistake. And to get back to the point, we're back to Sue, and it's just like, um, it's a part also messed by that girl. Like every day, guys, I'm giving her money. And it's just like, oh, she said, she said, I said, thank you, you're the best, thank you, you're so awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> like I'm giving a girl I bet I just met me like that money because just because I'm messed by not her. But yeah, I know nothing got happy, and I know I'm too coward to um, to get to do my shot. Now your boy, <laughs> we talk about high school now, but now <laughs> it's different. You feel me? Don't just swag it like, uh, way. But yeah, but basically, like, it was just like just her smiling at me, thanking me was enough for me to be a sim to be a pathetic idiot and just giving her my money that's coming to me, like giving her money after money every single day. Like she just asked me, oh, here's money, here's money, and I ain't getting nothing return. Like that's not how you got to hold yourself. You got to hold yourself like. If I'm going to spend money and talk about somebody, if the person must have really earned it. The person must have, you're the king, you're supposed to treat yourself in high standards. So, but yeah, I was giving her money out for days, things like that. So then we did, um, we did some type of job together and with, with all my other um, people that was in my class during the summer. And it was just like, my mom and family did say we'll go switch schools. So, but then last minute they changed and said, oh, you're going back to um, my high school, or oh, William H. Turner Technical Arts High School. I ain't going to know my, my, my high school really get fucked up. But yeah, but basically like, um, William H. Turner Technical Arts High School, my parents just saw like two days later, they said, oh, you're going back to um, Turner Tech. And it was just like, yeah, okay. Made a lot of friends then. I was happy to be going back, but I ain't let her know that. So while I was working in the job we had in the summer, it was just, I was telling her like, Oh, I might go to a nice school. I don't know yet. The can go start clear. She said, Oh, she said, Oh, Jesus. But uh, like, she said, We only had like two years, one year left. Like, she said, You could come back. I said, I don't know. She said, Hopefully, you do come back. And I made her laugh. And just making her laugh, the enjoyment we had, that made my summer. Like, I was like, Wow, I talked to her. Wow, I made her laugh. Oh, my. You pathetic, bro. You pathetic. <laughs> Like, yeah, I made her laugh. And it's just like, I'm just happy about all of, about all of that. And it's just like, okay, okay. So then, um, yeah, so then I basically, yeah, I basically um, came back to turn, uh, to turn tech. This was, I came back senior year or junior year. I forgot what year it was. Came back and I saw her. He said, oh, gee. Like, I even asked her hug me like that. I said, oh, gee. Then she hugged me. She said, he said, you're back. And I was like, yeah. And bro, I was so happy and smiling and stuff like, bro, she hugged me. Yeah, but but then, yeah, then um, come to find out, George was one of her friends. George always was hanging around her, trying to, and then I just like started dissing myself from her. But I'm happy she was happy that I was back. It's just like George is one of her friends. F that, and George and her all made laugh things like that. But guess what, guys? George and her are married. They have a kid. Yes, they have a kid, they're married, and all of that. George 
George never even apologized to me a day in his life after everything he did in high school. But um, but yeah, like she married George. <laughs> they got a son together, and just like wow, that's 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 who you pick. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know the experience of how things are so wow. Like while your worst enemy is like hurt. Someone you find attractive, but never had a chance, like, like never even throw your shot and I'll just take the L. They ended up together, now they got kid. That's the story, so I'm like, wow. But yeah, y'all already know, hit the bell, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate every single one y'all. Shout out to y'all. Comment the, on the video. Why y'all different comment, though? Y'all get me mad. Comment and like. Do y'all like the video? Like it. And I appreciate every single one y'all. See my see you to see y'all out. Be crazy. Yeah. Most of these niggas ain't tryna see you win And I can't trust nobody, not interested in being friends It's free all of my niggas till my niggas free again Winning blind through these Cartier